Gosh, folks, I have this i3 9350KF sitting around. So I bought a new i9, put it in my uh, gaming computer. So I'm not really sure what I want to do this, with this uh, CPU. I know I need to spend a little time cleaning it up, getting some of the thermal paste off of it, but uh, I do happen to have the good old Dell Inspiron 3670. We haven't tried this CPU in it yet. So this computer's had a 9th gen BIOS update and uh, might as well see if this works. It's kind of uh, not so sure about this CPU fan here keeping it cool, but um, we'll at least see if we can fire it up. All right, so let me take the, uh, I had put an i5-9400F in here, which uh, is working spectacularly, as you would uh, expect since they put these in the new night gen version of this. So, um, let's see how this other processor works. Obviously, we won't be able to overclock. Um, this will suck up a little more power, but, uh, you know, I added a power supply to this thing and, uh, the graphics card we have in here, nothing spectacular. I just went with one that would actually fit. Uh, it does require GPU connector, so, um. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to pause this, uh, pull this CPU out, and then put the other one in. All right, so we've got the uh, i3-9350KF in there. I'm going to put some thermal paste on it, and uh, we'll go from this to uh, having it hooked up in startup and let you guys see uh, what it does. All right, CPU's in. And for the hell of it, I threw in a 140 millimeter fan. Obviously, this doesn't fit this case, but uh, I want to keep things cool in here for a time being. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and hit the power button, and uh, let's hope that nothing happens that shouldn't happen. We've got uh, power. There's our 140-millimeter uh, fan. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just got to have a little fun with these computers. All right, wow, that was a fast boot up, right? So... In case you haven't upgraded to an SSD, uh, that was a Samsung EVO 970. And uh, you can see why, uh, obviously, I upgraded that. So I'm going to put the camera over here while I put the password in. So I can't tell you that I recommend uh, that you guys do this. Um, this is, you know, kind of an experiment to see if it works. And uh, I have updated the BIOS to 9th gen in this computer. So previously I had a couple issues with some other CPUs in here that I, I tried out without the BIOS update. Um, there's a video that I made out there to show you how to update the BIOS. Um, and then also recently I did another video on uh, creating a boot disk from a uh, M.2 SSD uh, NVMe or you could do SATA but uh, basically you know uh, this computer is way faster than it came from the uh, the factory in uh, every shape or form so I did that uh, uh, this is probably going to screw up the benchmark um, I did the SSD from using a recovery process. So that is uh, probably the simplest way um, to ensure things are going to work because it takes your existing drivers and uh, uses those. So once you reinstall your uh, system onto the M.2, you'll, uh, you'll boot up with uh, no issues. At least I had no issues. All right, so this will take a little while longer. 
go ahead and for some reason our little tripod is cockeyed. And wow, that took forever to come up. So not a real good uh, not a real good run here um, based on the background CPU usage. I'm gonna run it again and uh, I'll spare you guys unless this one comes out better but uh, you know overall these are uh, these are decent num numbers. Here's what I had with the i5 9400F, and uh, we're pretty close to those. Uh, as I would expect, the workstation score is going to be lower. We might end up with a better gaming score, though. So I'm going to run it again, and uh, hopefully you guys will get to see that. All right, well, not necessarily the best bench, 4% uh, background. I've done this like five times now, and we finally got the CPU usage down a little bit, but... Uh, Gaming score is slightly better than the uh, i5-9400F in this computer. The desktop score is uh, a lot better, and the workstation score is less. So um, the single core and quad core is uh, better in the i3-9350KF, where the uh, multi-core is uh, not as great. So let's take a look at that. There are the uh, the scores down there. Single core 139, which is pretty high, and then the 64 535. So if we jump over to the i5, which is right here, single core is 124, and the 64 core is 693. So you can kind of see why. Uh, these, you know, change somewhat. Uh, why the workstation score is higher here, and on the other one, why the gaming score is higher. Now, surprisingly, uh, if we go back to it, this i3 9350KF is actually performing quite well, which surprises me, um, considering it doesn't have the best cooling in the world. Uh, that is a pretty good uh, score for that CPU, at least from the benches I've done. And, uh, you know, I can't necessarily say this is successful uh, running this CPU in here, but uh, at least at the moment, you know, it's, it is working quite well. So um, get a better CPU cooler, get a uh, power supply, and uh, maybe this is a CPU to consider for this desktop. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.